Hey, what is up everyone? Bo HD here. Hope you guys are doing well. Now today we have two brand new mid-range smartphones from the company called Blue. Maybe you've heard of them. This is the Vivo X5 and the Vivo XL5. For $100 and $130 respectively, you get a large HD display, 13 megapixel main camera, 64 gigabytes of internal storage with three gigabytes of RAM. There are fingerprint scanners on the rear and Android 9.0 running out of the box. Basically what it comes down to is whether you want a larger display with a notch or you're fine with something like the X5 and its smaller display, slightly thicker bezels, but smaller price tag. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the X5 and give you a first look at what this device consists of. But uh, if you'd like to see our dedicated unboxing and first look video of the XL5, Click on the link above me, leave it to the left or to the right, or check out the link in the description. With that said, let's get started. The Vivo X5 comes in this cardboard box packed to the gills with accessories. First, we have the phone sitting right on top, tucked away inside a protective plastic bag. Underneath, there's a pair of earphones with music controls and removable silicone tips a micro USB charging cable, and a USB wall wart. There's also a 2800 milliamp hour battery that you'll have to pop into the back of the phone, uh, which I have not seen in a number of years. It's quite refreshing to see a phone with a removable back and a removable battery, to be honest. Next, we have some paperwork, like a get started guide and blue sticker. There's a protective silicone case and two different screen protectors. So you have everything and more to get this phone up and running. Taking a quick look around the device, the phone doesn't feel like anything too premium. And there are some questionable design elements here, such as a top mounted charging port and plastic faux leather rear cover. But the back cover, it's removable, providing access to a removable battery, dual SIM card trays, and a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. We also have a rear facing fingerprint scanner for security. The display, it measures in at 5.7 inches with a 720 by 1440 resolution and a 267 pixel per inch index. So it's certainly not the most pixel dense display we've seen, but color vibrancy is pretty strong and brightness is decent at 420 nits. Since the top and bottom bezels are a little bit thicker, you don't have a notch like you do with the XL5. But with the bigger bezel, you do have a front facing flash, which is not available in the XL5. The phone runs Android 9.0 Pi out of the box with a fairly lightweight skin that adds a couple of extra gestures and reskinned icons. It's being powered by an octa-core 1.6 gigahertz processor with three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, swiping through the menus is fluid and apps open up fairly quickly with minimal stuttering or lag. You do have an eight megapixel selfie camera with a flash and there's a 13 megapixel rear facing camera sensor. Unfortunately, there's no depth sensor like the XL5 to provide better portrait images, but this camera sensor I think should get the job done for the occasional photo. The X5 retails for only $100 and the company is offering a $20 off special launch deal for those who are interested in saving even more money. You don't get the more premium modern build or the larger battery that the XL5 offers, but for those on a tight budget, I think this phone could work out very well for you. It works with T-Mobile, AT&T, and many other GSM carriers here in the US, and it's available on Amazon. I'll place a link in the description if you want to check it out on Amazon. With that said, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.